Hey guys, welcome back to 90 Feet From Home. This is gonna be a quick episode, so I hope you enjoy it. It's just a really simple breakdown of offense versus defense in baseball. This is one that's always messed me up because offense, defense, you mean different things in different sports. And with baseball, they're kind of different from any other sport out there. So I thought I would give you guys a really quick breakdown on what is offense and what is defense in terms of a baseball game. So that when you hear about offensive strategy, defensive strategy, playing good offense, playing good defense, these words have now lost all meaning to me, you know what they mean in terms of baseball. Well, I've got your attention, remember to hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell if you wanna be notified every time a new video comes up, which is every Tuesday and Thursday and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And remember, all of my videos are based on what you guys wanna hear about most. So I'll often run polls on Twitter and I take all of your comments into mind when it comes to planning videos for the future. So if there's something you guys want me to make a video on, just leave a comment down below and I will get it in the queue. So without any further ado, offense versus defense and what they mean in terms of baseball. Defense in baseball is actually very interesting because it's one of the few sports out there which gives the defense control of the ball. In terms, of what is defense in baseball, the pitcher and the outfielders all count as part of the defensive side of the baseball team. And it's actually quite interesting because it's one of the few sports in which the defensive players outnumber the offensive players quite considerably. You have at least nine defensive players on the field, counting the pitcher and the fielders, whereas you only have between one and four offensive players, counting the batter and potential base runners. So it is a very lopsided kind of arrangement in that the defense outnumbers the offense quite a lot. Defense for baseball works in one of two ways. Either as the pitcher you are striking out a player or as a fielder you are making tags, catches, double plays, or any of those arrangements that will get a base runner out. Basically the goal of the defense is to reach three outs. Whether you do that by pitcher strikes, by catches, by tags, or whatever arrangement you achieve that three outs, it is ultimately the goal of the defense of a baseball team to get three outs. The offense in that case becomes the batter and the base runners. So the goal of the offense, of course, is to score as many runs as possible against the defense. Batter and your base runners then make up the offensive front of the team. And when you're looking at your baseball lineup in terms of best offense, you want to construct it in such a way that you're going to get the most players on base, giving you the best possible opportunity to get runs batted in. So we'll we'll get into baseball lineups in another episode, but I hope that makes sense in the breakdown between what is defensive play and what is offensive play in baseball. So again, defense, pitcher, fielders, offense, whoever is at bat or running the bases. Hope that helps. Thank you for watching this quick episode of 90 Feet From Home. I'm Ashley, I'm your host. Please give this a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, follow me on social media. I'm everywhere at 90 Feet From Home and I hope you'll come back for a future episode. Have a great day.